So, ladies and gentlemen, and a wonderful welcome to our Friday afternoon webinar uh, in this wonderful trading uh, webinar series, Trading Spotlight, provided and uh, created from Admiral Markets. What well, a such a great pleasure to have you here in this webinar and uh, to talk to you, to work with you through this uh, really, really important topic, this uh, call is so-called Evergreens. So you can use this webinar every time and uh, this information for your own trading every time. So it's such a great pleasure to have you here this evening. And uh, my name is Mark Gabel, and I'm a professional analyst as well. And um, yes, more than 20 years engaged in uh, trading. So uh, I'm partnering with Admiral Markets, which is a Forex and CFD broker uh, that offers trading in over 8,000 different financial instruments, guys, through one and the world's best trading platform, MetaTrader 5 or uh, 4. So wonderful, good day to everybody, wherever you are around the world. It's such a great pleasure and I'm feeling really honored to have you here in this webinar. So guys, let's talk about this really important topic today, how to use technical and fundamental analysis in your own trading. So, and finally, for later, if you're watching this on YouTube, this webinar, remember to like this video, share it with other traders and subscribe so you will never miss one of the next episodes. So. Thank you for spending your lifetime with me uh, with this live webinar or later by YouTube. Hi, Vincenzo. Hi, uh, guys, to everyone, wherever you are. Okay, our topic today, how to use technical and fundamental analysis in your trading. Let's start with our agenda. What's, this our, what's on our agenda this day? Um, four topics you want to, four, yes, special points you want to talk about. What is technical analysis? What is fundamental analysis? Should I use both of them? And how to use them in my strategy? Is it necessary? All that things we talk about in this webinar this afternoon. So let's see. Guys, that's me. That's not really important because you are more important than me. And of course, Admiral Market as a uh, broker here, what's, which uh, supports us here with our webinar, more than 8,000 financial instruments, guys. And uh, I'm really, really glad to work together with this uh, broker. And I guess, and I hope, and I think you have an account at Admiral Markets. If not, guys, if you watch this by YouTube, now it's time to open the account at Admiral Markets. Of course, if you want to uh, work with me here and surprise, surprise, very soon we have a new, new project for especially for you because we want to support you and we want that you become a successful trader because you are amazing you are wonderful you are that person who is absolutely able to become successful in uh, trading this is the most important thing i want to tell you so just let me see this one okay that's the point guys now let's see about the uh, next one so here we go you know that's the real interesting point so guys first of all this is yes that's the real slide let's talk about a little bit introducing our technical analysis so most of the guys and of course the chat is open guys i can see it um, and uh, if you have some questions to me or want to talk to me, because this is your webinar, guys. I will do it for you. So let me know what is your mind, what drives you crazy, what moves you in your inner center, whatever is in your mind, let me know. We can talk about it because um, um, I want to inspire you that you become successful in trading. So I want to show you the way I can open the door. And if I would... Uh, I would like it to carry you through all the ups and downs through trading, but uh, at the moment I cannot, maybe very soon I can, but at the moment I want to inspire you to open your mind 
for different views at the chart, um, especially and at most to find your inner center, to find your freedom with, or maybe I should say, despite uh, trading. That's really important. Okay, guys, most of the traders around the world focused only, only, that's the right point, only on technical chart issues. They're using a lot of using technical tools. We have an endless universe of technical tools. And such sometimes it's really, how should I say, ah, it's really overwhelming for uh, unexperienced traders, guys. It's really overwhelming because it's too much. So if I think in my past, if I think at the start of my trading career at uh, in th around 20 years ago, uh, I was in the same stage, I was in the same situation. I saw SMAs, EMAs, uh, indicators, oscillators, oh my God. The universe was absolutely endless. It was a never ending story. And you can, you can lose yourself in all this stuff in all this, how should I say, technical issues and uh, technical indicators. So, but some of them are useful and helpful. Some of them are really senseless. So, but you need to find that what you, with that you feeling comfortable. That's the most important thing in, the, in this stuff. So just say here, yes. So, and indicators. And of course, indicators and candle patterns. Did you ever see how many different candle patterns there are? It's absolutely amazing. That's uh, the Japanese candles are really great, really interesting, really amazing, really exciting, and really hmm, overwhelming because there are really, really a lot of patterns with the really funny names. I can see it's a reversal bar and dark cloud and bright cloud and something. Oh my God, there's a lot of things you can think about it. And uh, I, I guess it's, it's really, it's a little bit too much. That's one of the reasons I use Heiki Nashi. <laughs> I'm a German guy. I'm a Bavarian guy. That's more than a German guy. Bavarian are really special. We like it really easy, really, really easy in life in relationships for me as well if it's it's going to be complicated in relationship i have to say mm, <laughs> let's go okay i want to find my freedom and my inner center and in trading uh and in trading as well guys make it easy and i love it really easy that's one of the reason i use heikinashi it's an indicator yes it's an expression of your chart picture and it's a little different to the candle norm, Japanese candle patterns. So, but uh, it's really easy because you only have two candles, trend continuation candle and balance candle. End of the end of the story, no more, no less. And this, this is really, really easy. So, and let's go on. You have trend channels, you have support, resist, highs and lows, and you have so, so unbelievable many things in trading. So, do you want to see something? Let me show you. Let's switch to our lovely MetaTrader. And here we go. There is my MetaTrader. So, you see, if you make a little bit, uh, how should I say, you can see here you have uh, Fibonacci. You will look at this uh, chart tools, for example. You see, um, uh, how should I say, their lines, trend channels. You look at this one, Fibonacci, linear regressions, uh, standard deviations, and so on. You have GANs. Oh my God, what is GAN? I don't know. <laughs> I know the word. <laughs> it's really. And you have shapes, rectangle, and you have arrows, and something else, and Fibonacci. And of course, look at this one in your uh, chart. So you can work with support here for example with support you can work with resist and all this this great uh, stuff so you have rsi you have how should i say uh indicators uh you see 
uh, indicator list. You have a lot of other things you can use for your own trading here on charts and candlesticks, you know, oh my God, it's really, really a lot of things you can work with. But the question is, guys, ladies and gentlemen, what is really useful, what is helpful, and at the end, what, what will it bring you? Money in your pocket on your account of uh, Admiral Markets. What will bring you money? With which one you can work consist consistently and repeatable trades. That's the most important things. So let's get uh, back to our um, slides. And here, let's is just a sum of all technical analysis things. I know yeah, there are so many things more. I guess you know it. Um, um, I guess you know it like, um, how should I say, this um, Ishimoku, oh my God, the clouds and so on. And you can Bollinger Bands. All this, I know, you know all this technical stuffs. But which one, and that's always the question, which, which one is really helpful? Which one will really support you? And which one you can use for your own trading? If you have too much in your chart, you cannot see the candles anymore. I know some traders in my, uh, and of course myself, I, I, could, I could show you some uh, charts from my, uh, in the beginning of my career, I had so many indicators and oscillators and Bollinger Bands and trend channels in my chart, I wasn't able to see my candles. But uh, if, you have, if you have 10 indicators and oscillators, you can see, oh, five, one, five, indica five indicators says, oh, go long, and the other ones uh, go short. So what do you have to do? It's just an accident. Push the button and you are in. That's really funny. But if you lose money, um, that's, it's not only, it's not anymore a joke. It's really bad and hard times. So I can't for the life of me read Shimoku, Kinku, Hayo, or oh, Huyu, Hayo, Vincenzo. We are on the both side. We are, we are on the same page. I'm really happy if I can, if I can say the word Ishimoku Kinko Hayo, but I cannot read it. It's really, it's really funny. But one thing I absolutely know about this indicator and all the other ones, no one, no one will show you the future by a guarantee. No one. There is no crystal ball. There's no uh, future prediction. It's everything. It's based on probabilities, whatever you use in your chart. So this is the part of the technical analysis, R pure technical analysis. Analysis. You have the candles, you have your uh, indicators, oscillators, the candle patterns, you have something like uh, channels, support, resist, highs and lows, trend and up and correction movement. And uh, yes, I showed you in the, in the meta trader. So, but let's go on guys. What's about now some fundamental analysis? Little bit, let's, let, let's talk a little bit about fundamental analysis. People, and we have a lot of guys, they are talking, uh, they are working with fundamental analysis. Most of them have really huge accounts. Because if you want to only work with fundamental analysis, uh, it's better you have a huge account. Because such guys, such traders, are forced more on a long run. They work, most of them, more work with really big uh, money and on a long run, not one minute, five minute. Most of them, they are uh, focused on daily chart, weekly chart. And for that, you know, you have to, start, you have to set your stop really far away. And for that, you, re you need really big, big money. So that's the information number one. Most of them 
are using Fundamental or having a huge account. Is, that ba is this the basic uh, case? No, this is an opinion of most of the unexperienced traders. Most of unexperienced traders think or thinking for Fundamental analysis you need a huge account. I thought in my past as well the same thing, but today I know it's not the case. You can use fundamental analysis which with a really small account as well. It makes no sense to put the stop really far away, but the things, the information about special fundamental things and fundamental information, that's really helpful. So they appear that people, or if you want, if you talk, uh, if you talk, oh, just really slowly. It's vodka. If we use fundamental analysis that are existing in the modern time, in modern age, uh, using we can using tools for that. And at the end, that's the point why I can uh, please you to stay in this webinar till the end. Because at the end, I want to show you the practice, how you can use fundamental and technical uh, analysis and issues for your trading. Stay tuned here in this webinar and I promise you, you will learn something about that. Though I hope so, of course. So what's uh, talking about? Uh, if you want to talk about fundamental analysis, we talk about Cut datas. Oh my God, what are cut datas? Cut is the shortcut of commitment of traders. Datas. That means that's really the big, big money. Commitment of traders. They are, they are reportable. If you are engaged in trading, especially in Forex, in shares, or in futures, uh, if you have special impact of the market and special influence to the market because you are a really large and huge trader. You have to give the, uh, the, the department, in, especially in USA, you have uh, to give them the report with how many contracts you are engaged in trading. You have to report it on Tuesday, every week on Tuesday, and they will publish it on Friday. So you can see uh, over the weekend, where are the smart money is engaged and involved in trading. And uh, in Forex as well, in futures, especially and mostly in communities. So uh, gold, silver, coffee, copper, wheat, uh, all that stuff they have to report their trades and their positions they hold actually and currently in the market. So that means the cut data. So I will show you at the end, I will show you there how does it work with the cut data. Because there are existing some numbers and you can see it. Then the second fundamental tool is called seasonals. Hmm. What's, uh, what are seasonals, guys? Okay, this is an indicator. So we have more than one season a day, a, a, a year. We have spring, we have summer, we have autumn, we have winter. And especially in trading, we have special seasons through the whole year. So, and we have seasons like uh, vacation season from June, from June, maybe June till mid of September. We have a uh, really special first quarter of the year. So there is, um, they, most of the guys in there working for banks and hedge funds, something else, they have no permission to get a vacation from uh, January to March. It's forbidden, they have to work. No free day, no day offs, no vacation in that time. That's a really strong season from January to March, maybe April, April a little bit. Then a little bit weaker time, and then the next season from September to October, November, December. So this is really so. There you have seasonals, and in some seasons you have sometimes strong prices and sometimes 
uh, uh, soft prices or falling prices. But this is only just, um, it's not a, a clear prediction. It's just an indicator. And this seasonal shows you uh, the average in the, of the last five years. And this is the average of the last five years. You can see what happens on that day, on that month, during the last five years. And the huge money, or it's so-called the smart money, the, yes, the smart money, the big money, the big accounts, they are watching and they are looking for that seasonals because they are work with seasonals. Especially you work with communities like coffee, like uh, wheat, or uh, watch uh, cattle and uh, something else. You know what there are existing around the world. And you know there are seasons. Seasons for coffee, seasons for wheat, seasons for orange juice, and so on, you know. <laughs> Lucky guys uh, with um, Eddie Murphy, you know that movie? So that's, apple, uh, that's uh, orange. So uh, you know that. And for that, exist, there exist some seasonals. And today, in modern age, in the 21st century we are living in, we can use such information as well. Earlier, a couple of years ago, private traders have no or had no uh, access to such data. Only the smart money had this access. In the 21st century, in our stage, that's the point why, our, why we can be really lucky and we can be really happy as traders we can use all of that information as well. But you have, to, um, you have to use it in a right way, in a really different way. And in a really, hmm, how should I say? Yes, in a, in a right way. That's, uh, I guess that's the best word. In the right way, you can use it. And I will show you that, how you can use it. And the third one of fundamental analysis is such company reports. So maybe uh, if you want to buy a share, um, then you have to work, you have to go to the main meetings for the company, maybe uh, you Walmart and so on, you know, you hold some shares in your, your shareholder, for example, then you go to the meetings of the, of the company, you talk to the CEO, you talk to the managers, you have a look at the, at the stuffs they, will ha they have in the, in the pipeline for the future, how they are built on for the future, and so on. This is fundamental analysis. You watch the report, you see the numbers, you see the data, you see make the CEO a really good job or not, if you have kicked it in the ass or something else, you know what I mean. This is company report. For that, you have to interest in four. Or the next one is such interest rates, reinterest rates. Hmm, you know, ECB, Federal Reserve, or RBA, NBA, um, New Zealand, uh, um, or BOE, Bank of England, BOG, Bank of Japan. You know, that's the interest rates of every currency um, of Japanese yen, British pound and so on. So as a fundamental analysis, you have to watch that interest rates. You have to, uh, you have to, uh, you have to, uh, you have to um, uh, keep it in your, um, you have to, yeah, what's the right word? It's in English. I know it in German. In English, it's not so easy. So keep an eye on it. Yes, that's the right word. Keep an eye on it on this interest rates. You watch uh, maybe some news and so on. Um, and Swayunas, at the moment, I know MT45 has no seasonal indicators. I have one, I will show you. But uh, I work with uh, Admiral on it that we can uh, make it publish and uh, for you as well, unless my admin can give an answer here on this place, on this, uh, on this special question from Swayuna's place. At the moment, I don't know, but uh, 
we can create the future together, guys. Okay, interest rates, economic numbers. We have a lot of economic numbers every day and every week, you know, housing numbers, uh, economic numbers, and uh, how should I say, employee numbers from, bank, from England, from Europe, from USA, and so on. That's all of that fundamental analysis. You have to watch a report and you have to count on it. You have to uh, have a look on it that you know how you can work with that. Okay, that's the point how you can, or the introducing of fundamental analysis. A little bit later, wait for it guys, wait for it. I will show you how you can use it, how they are looking like uh, at the end of this webinar. Okay, next one on our uh, here is the general topic, the general discussion. What is more useful, the technical or fundamental analysis? What is more useful for it? I see I used the wrong, the wrong one. Okay, this question, guys, is as old as the other one. What was first created? The chicken or the egg? It's a question for you. What do you think? What is, what is first created? Chicken or egg? I'm really excited about your answers. Type it in the chat box or type it after the webinar on YouTube uh, in the row here. What is more useful? Or what, is, what was first created? What do you think? The chicken or the egg? <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> it was an evolution. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Zia Market, for that. Really? Uh, okay. But here it is really, um, it's really easy to give you an answer on this. What was first created, chicken or egg? It's a question what you believe. If you believe the creation on our Lord, then you know the chicken was the first one. If you believe on the evolution, that every, everything comes from nothing, <laughs> that's stupid in my opinion, or out of the water, then okay, maybe the, the egg was the first one. So this is a question what you believe. If you believe to the creator, our creation, or the creator, the creation, or uh, to the evolution. So that's question what you believe but it's a general debate. And um, yes, traders used to discuss this topic since trading was born, like chicken or egg. What is more useful, technical or fundamental analysis? So let me, let's see. The answer is basically really, really easy. Why? Hmm. Let's have a look at the first tenet of the Dow theory. You know, in the, the past webinars, we talked about the six tenets of Charles Dow. And the first one, maybe you remember, the first one was this one. Everything is discounted in the markets. Everything. Everything that supply and demand influences you can see in the chart. You don't necessarily need fundamental analysis. Oh, that's really revolutionary. Really? It's really, really revolutionary. Why? Let me explain. If you are only a fundamental trader or a fundamental analysis, you look at the rate decisions, you look at the reports, you look at the COTS data, you look at the economic numbers, you have a look at... Uh, uh, seasonals and so on and now you have all your information on your desk about everything what you need for your fundamental um, for your fundamental um, analysis and now what you have to do now what you have to do now think about it what you have to do now you have to make a decision if you want to go long or short. One of them, long or short. And then 
it's always the same procession. It's always the same proce procedure. Always. If you, made your, if you make your decision, you have to call your bank or Admiral Markets, or you have to open your order mask in your broker, in your chat, or in your software, and you have to put in your data, your entry, your stop, and your target. You have to decide between a market order and, or a limit order. Market, you know, says you accept every kind of price. You want to have this share, this future, this community, whatever you want. Or you have a limit order, you will say, I want to see that price. Then I want to go into the market. But at the end, you have to put it in your chat, in your set, in your display. And at the end, you have to push this big button. Push it. Go in. And where is the order then? Where can I see it without doing your job and having a look at all these fundamental things? Where can I see it as a normal trader, as a technical trader? Where can I see it? In the book map, in the order book. I can see it because you have a huge account because you, you have to report it if you are a huge trader. You have to give it to the department and I can see it in the COP report or latest in the chart, maybe in daily chart, in weekly chart, latest in the order book. I can see it there. And the reason why you as a fundamental trader decide for long or short the real why is not interesting for me as a trader because I work with probabilities. And of course, and of sure, guys, fundamental analysis is not the holy grail. It's not the crystal ball. Of course not. Even fundamental data are based on probabilities. Unless there's one exception. Your name is Warren Buffett. Or your name is George Soros. Then it's your job. Then you can have impact of the market. Then it's your job. Then you can give the market a new direction, of course. But you know all the reports in the newspapers and so on, you know that especially Goldman Sachs lost a lot of money in the markets. Or uh, last week we have some news are really one of the famous and best uh, bond market traders lost more than one billion dollars with Argent in, Arge uh, in, uh, in Argentina with the peso. That's really bad. More than one billion dollar he lost during one month or two months. That's really, it's a little bit lot money for me. It's a little bit much money for me, yes. Um, but you know, there are no guarantees in the market. You have, you can have so much money. You only can have, you can work with probabilities. If you make technical analysis or if you make fundamental analysis, doesn't matter whatever you do. But for me as a technical trader, so, there is the big question. What is more useful? What is better, fundamental or technical analysis? That's the answer is really easy. To make money in the market, you have two options. You have that money that you can make your market by yourself, like Warren Buffett, Charles Soros, so there's some other guys around the world. If not, if we had a little bit less money on the market, on the R account, then it's completely enough. You work with the charts. You work with technical analysis because you can see everything. What has happened around the world, you can see in the chart. That is tenet number one. This is the legendary Mr. Dow Jones. Uh, Mr. Dow, um, thanks, Vincenzo. 
because everything that's supply and demand influences you can see in the chart. That's really easy. That's everything what you need for your trading. So when and how to use them. So the benefit of fundamental, fundamental analysis is really easy. If you can use cut data or seasonals, you can see how the smart money works. The general direction, you can see it in average, not with the crystal balls, not with the holy grail, only with the average, only with the, with the main direction. You can see where the big money wants to go, in which direction. And most of the times it is only useful a long run and in a higher time frame. It's guys, it's not useful to use cut data or seasonals for five minute chart. That's uh, senseless. Follow big fish if you are a small fish like me. Me too, me too, of course, please. <laughs> I'm a small fish, I guess I'm smaller than you. Uh, okay, let's, yes, that's real, sentence follow the big fish or in my words i always say follow the titanic yes with your small boat it makes no sense to cross the titanic in the front you can you, you can make it one time if you are strong enough maybe you can it's, you can make it two times if you are strong enough and really seldom you can make it in the third time you are strong enough but most of the times you will lose that fight against the titanic it's better to follow the Titanic or to um, accompanying the Titanic. It's better. So follow the smart money. And of course, it's better to work then in higher time frames, hourly chart, daily chart, and for a long run. So the disadvantage of using both of them, at the end, if you use such fundamental analysis, you must place your order there we are, here we go. First tenet number one of Mr. Dow, the Dow theory. Okay, guys, the advantage of technical analysis. No time to spend for fundamental and data because you can see everything in higher time frames, especially, you know, in daily chart or weekly charts. And most of the traders are technical traders, most of them around the world. And you have a lot of tools you can use Use that tools you're feeling comfortable and don't being um, and don't be um, how should I say overwhelmed with them. And of course, you can trade. Uh, you can make trading in every single time frame where you're feeling comfortable as well. Your penguin factor, you know, where are you feeling really comfortable? So disadvantage, like in fundamental things, just only probabilities, no more or no less. And you need to use more than one time from your analysis. analysis. So it's better you have a big picture and your signal chart. Both of them you need for your, uh, for your um, trades. How do they work in different strategies? Let's talk about the facts. Fundamental analysis, guys, should be used for preparing trades. It's less than a strategy because it's just only for preparing then with fundamental data, you're able to find very early entries. So it's, sometimes it's better to have an early entry than too late. If you wait for a trend, it could be a little bit late. With the fundamental information, you can have a little bit more earlier entries. For an exact, exactly entry, then you need technical information like the trend and the price. You see, both of them are really helpful. No different strategies, mix it. And I guess this is the secret. This is what I do with my uh, family, with my uh, uh, company every week, preparing the smart, the big, uh, the, the big picture, accompanying by fundamental things like cut data, seasonals, and then for an exactly entry, we use movements or a trend. And of course, the price. So guys, let's um, put in, where is my slide? So let's put in theory into practice the last th uh, three or four minutes. Let me show you. Now, drum roll, drum roll. This is very interesting. So let's see. First of all, on the lower side, you can see I use, this is a seasonal indicator here on the lower side. 
And here you can see the blue line is where we are right now and the red part is the prediction for the future. And this is a seasonal indicator and I will work with Admiral on it. See you, Mark. <laughs> Let's talk about next week uh, about this. Uh, this is really interesting, especially you want to work with long runs in daily chart or weekly chart. So you can see we have the S&P 500 here on the stage and you can see it's uh, the indicators. This is an average of the last five years. What's happened in, what's happened in the last five years in that next 60 days from today to the next 60 days? What happened there in the past, in the last, in the last five years? This is the average. And this is what the, the smart money is looking for. That's really interesting. This is a seasonal indicator. So you can use it. You can use it for, how should I say, uh, let's see, in, um, in Forex as well. So I hope so, it will switch. Yes, you can see, oh, you can see this is the normal line. This is what happened in the past. And this is the prediction of what will happen in the next 60 days as an average of the last five years. This is really important. And now you can see we expect, so where we are here, the cross here, here we are. What we expect, of course, you can see we are in really unfair price value zone. We expect a little bit higher prices. That means look in the past, maybe we reach this double bottom, uh, this double high on the upper side. And now you see resist with fundamental analysis. That's great. And you could see where we are, where we came from, from a lower side with an increasing seasonal indicator. You can see it works in this combination. This is a seasonal indicator. So, and the price profile on the right side is a special indicator as well. We have created it. You see if you are um, unfair or fair value price. But about this special point, we want to talk about next week. So I want to invite you to next week for this special information about trend and price, guys. But let me show you the cut data. For that, I use a special software. And here you can see on the lower side, this is the reportable, really huge and large traders. And there you can see in the cut data, yes, Jeanette, <laughs> lovely Jeanette, greetings to Munich. What a great pleasure to have you here in this webinar. So I would, I guess you understand me. Thanks for that. Um, so you can see in uh, this especially Canadian dollar, how we use the cut data for Forex traders or in something other as well. You can use maybe uh, uh, gas or coffee or something else or oil especially. You, you see we use extreme positions. This is the only one we are looking for in this fundamental data, the cut data we are looking for really extreme positions and you see the market is reacted on it. Why? And that's the special point, guys. Why? Look at this one. It's always the same. We are looking for extreme positions. We can use here maybe silver, for example. This is silver. Can you see, we are at the zero line. The market is reacting. We were extreme positions. The market, we are reacting. And so now we are going to be to extreme positions as well in silver and in gold. You see the mix, guys, the mix of fundamental and how should I say? Technical analysis is the best thing you can ever do. But don't forget, this is a job, guys. You have to learn that stuff, guys. You have to learn it. So that was my part. I'm done here today. I want to invite you for Monday, guys. And um, I hope you learned something a, bit, a little bit. And my colleague Paul will start next week. Please pay attention. We start next week, one hour later. In September, we start at 3 p.m. German time or translated in your time. 
So, and my colleague Paul will uh, talk about next week on Monday, if I can see it uh, right. Yes, uh, Paul, creating a simple price action trading plan. What is price action? What role does it play in your trading plan and price action trading strategies? This is what Paul talking about next Monday. Make sure that you be invited and that you be attend or that you can attend this webinar on Monday. Don't forget 3 p.m. next week up to next week, September. We start one hour later or in Bulgaria at 4 p.m. I'm feeling really honored that you be a part of this webinar. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, that was my part of this webinar. It was a great pleasure for me here. I wish you a great, great Friday and rest of the day and a happy and relaxing, comfortable weekend. Guys, find your inner center. Find your freedom. This is so much more important than trading. You can connect, you can mix it together. Trading, personal development with all that information. And then I promise you, you have the big, big chance to become successful in trading. Have a nice time and don't forget, be careful about your thoughts because they are the beginning of your actions. Bye-bye.